Welcome back, everyone, to the Gossam Group Connection blog. Today we are here with Greg Tompkins of uh, Raw CFO. Thanks for joining us, Greg. Thank you for having me. This is a great opportunity for me to talk about our business and, you know, meet your viewership. It's a pleasure to have you. And um, before we dig into the, the business side of things, tell me a little bit about yourself, where you come from, where do you call home now, okay. how did you get there? So, uh, I grew up in Caldwell, New Jersey, not nice. far from here. Uh, we live in Denville now. Cool. We've been there for 30 years. Awesome. My wife and I, we have three kids. So right. They're all in school of some sort right now. Awesome. Well, I, grew, great. I grew up in Montclair, so I'm just down from Field Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. And so tell me a little bit about how you found uh, Ross CFO and tell me a little bit about the company. Okay. So uh, Ross CFO was founded in 2009, 2010. We incorporated. Um, my partner and I went to high school together in Caldwell, nice. played baseball together, got accounting degrees at Ryder University, uh, went in opposite professional directions. I became a CPA, went into public accounting. Rich uh, became an MBA, went into private company mm -hmm. accounting. And uh, in 2009, we reconnected on a professional level and made a lot of sense for us to combine what we were both doing independently right. and it's been a great a great growth and development awesome. uh, from there. Very cool and so um, give us a little breakdown of like the services we provide and where are you in the company and uh, what role do you serve? So uh, Rich and I are partners and we have a staff of 10 people mm -hmm. and we provide the internal accounting for companies okay. so uh, anything from bookkeeping to controller um, and CFO strategy. Okay. Strategic. All right. So, uh, most people understand uh, bookkeeping, right. and they understand their CPA who does their taxes. But in between those two things, there's a there's a great amount of um, benefit that that can be gained and really necessary functions that somebody's doing right. or not doing. Right. And there's consequences to both things. Right. So. Right. Of course. Yes. That's really the reason I wanted to bring you in this time of year, uh, beginning of 2019, we know so many small business owners and um, some people who are just at their company looking to take their, their work to the next level. I want to dig into like the, the ins and outs, the good and bad of uh, bookkeeping and you know where you provide services. So let's dig into like maybe the first um, big drawback to doing your bookkeeping in-house or you know maybe the, the big uh, hurdle you see companies running into. Uh, so a lot of times uh, it it becomes a real-time drain on a business owner because even if they have someone making entries in their system somebody has to review all of that and the owner is usually stuck late at night looking at things finding errors making corrections and it's not really a good use of their time right, right. so a lot of times business owners come to us and say we can't manage any more growth because we're stuck doing things that are not productive to growing the company. Right. So uh, those situations are very good for us because we'll then be able to come in with a solution that's more comprehensive uh, very often than just hiring somebody to come in for you know eight hours a week or 20 right. hours a right. week um, because we do have the, the various levels that we can provide. Right, and so you're able to commit at those various levels rather than someone coming part-time. Correct. Not having the full scope of the understanding of the company. Per Correct. Se. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah, so when you guys come in, what do you notice like the, the best advantage? Once someone pushes off the book, bookkeeping to you guys, what do you find that they are, have time now to do for their business? Well, I mean, the best thing is that now they have a little more confidence that their accounting information is correct. Right. So they're getting information that's timely, accurate, they can really now look at, well, where am I more profitable? Maybe I should be spending more time or investing in my business in this area that's more profitable. Awesome. And before they were thinking that they were more profitable, but a lot of times we've been able to demonstrate to them, you know, that isn't really, you're, you're doing all this business in an area that's not as profitable. Right. So sticking to the, the money making activity, Correct. right? The income generation. That's what we focus, try to focus our efforts on quite a bit um, right. as well. So yeah, very cool. And so I would love to take a little another chance to tell us a little bit about, about your services. If you think about bookkeeping, some people might have some preconceived notions or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Tell me like one or two things that you would like someone to know that they might not know about 
the services you provide or don't provide or um, be taking on like a company like yourself? Okay. So the way we work in particular is as an outsourced accounting department. So we like to think of a company that may have headquarters in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Accounting, you know, the offices are on the seventh floor, but accounting's on the fifth floor. Right. So if you need something from accounting, you send them an email, you call them on the phone, they produce what you need, and you get a result. Right. So we work similarly to that. We're, we're an outsourced resource. We use technology right. to keep your information up to date. And we also have a controller on staff. We have my partner and I who oversee things and make sure everything's correct and, and ready to go early in the month following a close. Right. Awesome. Like they, they, the year just ended. Right. A lot of our clients already have their full year accounting records mm -hmm. complete. They can start looking uh, to get their taxes done and other things where, you know, sometimes it could take six, seven, eight months to get your records done if you're not doing it as it's happening. Right. Excellent. Awesome. That's amazing. And so um, before we uh, step away, I love to always ask um, everyone, besides when you're grinding away at the office, what do you like to do when you're on the weekend or with family? What are you looking forward to in 2019? Well, to do? Uh, many of the activities are you know, revolve around family right, activities. Right. So I have two children in Philadelphia. Awesome. One just beginning college, one working for uh, uh, University of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we spent a lot of time back and forth to Philadelphia. Wow. And I also still play softball, nice. uh, although it's a much slower well, game well than it was yeah. when I was young. And, so uh, we play hockey, so, yeah. Uh, which yeah. is not bad, right? <laughs> Sorry. Good. Excellent. All right. Well, thank so you. I appreciate again. the time. This thank you so excellent. much for joining Happy us. Happy to meet everybody. And uh, you can find us uh, rod cfo.com. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll be, be sure to uh, link up all uh, his website as well as some other good resources to learn about outsourcing bookkeeping. And um, we are in a networking group with Greg. He's absolutely fantastic to work with. So when you're thinking about taking your business to the next level in 2019, this is an awesome first place to start, I think, so far from my first impression. So, great. Great. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Sure. Awesome.